Well, it's definitely really light. And I, I really don't know if there's a lighter guitar than this or not, but it's definitely the lightest Telecaster that I've ever held. Uh, on the back there, I added another piece of plywood just to act as a base for the strings to go through. It's definitely a little bit wonky, like doing precision screwing and cutting into foam is kind of difficult because it's so soft and flexible. But I also just whipped this thing up real quick, so it's admittedly not my best work. But yeah, I'm gonna get some strings on it, then I'll weigh it and plug it in and we'll see what this tone foam can do. This body is actually so light that it, it won't even rest on its back. It falls down at the headstock. All right, strings on and it's more or less tightened up. Uh, only thing I noticed was uh, this, the neck appears to be off by a few degrees. I think it's just where the screw holes are and not the pocket, but it's not really a big deal since this is just a test guitar. But you can see the high E string is slightly low on the fretboard. So this thing weighs just about three, three and a half pounds. Uh, and a good portion of that is just the neck alone. The reason I made it into a Telecaster was because I have two other Telecaster bodies to compare it to. Uh, the colored pencil Telecaster and this Mexican standard Tele. So I'm going to take all of the same hardware, electronics, and neck and throw them in this body. And after that I'll put them in this one. And it'll be the most controlled test that I can do with this. It's all subjective as to what sounds good or people's own definitions of tone. And to be honest, I don't even really know where I stand on the argument. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with acoustic guitars for sure, but my goal here isn't to respark or to put an end to the tone wood discussion, rather to do a simple experiment using foam and just kind of see where it stacks up compared to wood, and then you guys can go and make your own conclusions from that. One thing I noticed already is that it's almost too easy to get a vibrato effect on this guitar by shaking the neck. It kind of makes it difficult to keep it in tune while playing. Alright, so I'm recording all of this through a Focusrite Scarlet Solo straight into the laptop just to remove any variables of an amp. And this will be clean tone, so no reverb, no nothing. So, I don't know, take your pick. Uh, for what it's worth, I think these two sound the most similar. Uh, the foam doesn't sound too bad, actually. It's maybe a little more muffled, softer, and doesn't have that punch that these two bodies have, especially the Mexican Telecaster. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you guys make your own judgments on that. And regardless of how you think the foam sounds, add a little bit of reverb to it, and you can make just about anything sound pretty decent. Mm -hmm. 